In this video, we will show you how to prepare and operate the Kent USA KGK60 knife grinder. Here are a few things to note before running the machine. First, check the electrical connection. This machine can be wired up as 220 volts 3 phase or 440 volts 3 phase. If your shop requires 440 volts 3 phase power, a transformer must be used and the wires must be connected as labeled to ensure correct facing. Then, make sure that the wastes are properly lubricated. We highly recommend you to have the wastes properly lubricated before running the machine. We do this by turning on the auto lube unit a few times. Do so by performing this sequence. Release e-stop. Press power on. Turn on the chuck controller. Switch on the magnetism. Press the magnetism on button and press the green table on button. The auto lube unit is set to pump whey oil for 3 seconds every 20 minutes. Visually inspect the table waste of the machine by lifting the weight cover. Repeat these steps to lubricate the waste as needed. The cross waste of this machine has a one-shot lubrication system. Manually pump it a few times and visually inspect the cross waste for oil. Now, we'll demonstrate how to run the machine. Note that there are four proximity sensors on the back of the machine. The two outer sensors are fixed and are the hard limit sensors. The inner sensors are to be adjusted according to the workpiece length. Before turning on the grinding wheels, make sure that the table is moving in the correct direction. Repeat the previous button pressing sequence and press table right. If the direction is incorrect, swap the two incoming power leads. Do not run the grinding wheels with incorrect facing. Now, we can turn on the grinding wheels. Start by pressing the coarse wheel on button. The wheel should rotate clockwise. The fine grinding wheel has low and high speed modes. Choose the speed and press the green fine wheel on button. The fine grinding wheel should rotate counterclockwise. The table stop button pauses the table and allows the operator to switch directions. On the other hand, the table off button cuts power to the table motor. The table motor would need to be switched back on by pressing the green table on button and then given a direction of travel. Here are the coolant on and off push buttons. The coarse and fine grinding wheels are operated as shown. For easy loading and unloading of your workpiece, the forward push button rotates a chuck into the operating position. Once you've set your workpiece angle, lock the magnetic chuck in place as shown. These positioning stops can be adjusted as needed. The coarse grinding wheel can be swiveled as needed by loosening up these four bolts.